Hi, I'm Mark Davies. Welcome to this video in which we'll discuss how to limit and sort the entries in the quick lines at EnglishCorpora.org. Notice that quick, K-W-I-C, is an abbreviation for keywords in context, and some people also just say concordance lines. But we'll use the term quick lines in this video because, well, it's just quicker that way. Before we discuss how you can sort and limit in the quick page, we should note that with all of the corpora at EnglishCorpora.org, from the main search page of the corpus, you can limit the search to just a particular section of the corpus. For example, this limits the search for soft noun just to the fiction section in COCA the one billion word corpus of contemporary American English. And now, for example, I'll click on soft light. And then all of the quick lines are just for fiction because that's the section that we chose on the front page. Or you can choose to see the frequency in each section of the corpus by clicking here and then just click on the sections that you're interested in, such as this search for soft noun in COA, the 475 million word corpus of historical American English. For example, if we click on this link for the 1960s, we will see just the entries for the 1960s for the string that we've selected, soft drinks. A final example is a chart search in GLOBE, the 1.9 billion word corpus of global web-based English, where we can search for on holiday and we see a chart search and then we can click on the column for Great Britain and all of the lines, the quick lines, are from that country. But what if you do a search for a word or phrase in the entire corpus and only after the fact when you're already looking at the quick entries, do you decide that you want to see the entries from just part of the corpus? For example, let's search for investments in COCA. We see that there are almost 20,000 tokens of investments in the entire corpus. And these are the quick entries. At this point, even after we've done the main search, we can still limit the quick entries. To do so, just click on the limits link and then define how you'd like to limit the quick results. The options will vary from corpus to corpus. In COCA, we can limit by genre and year and source. For example, in this case, we'll limit the quick entries to spoken. Or to magazines. or magazines dealing with finance. To take another quick example, we could search for rocket asterisk in COA, which would give us rocket, rockets, and so on. 
and view the results in a chart. We could then click on any one of these bars to see the quick entry from that decade. But what if we wanted to limit by a specific year or set of years on the fly as we're looking at the quick entries? To do so, we could, again, just search for rocket asterisks, and then we'd click, for example, on rocket. And then in the quick page, we can limit to a particular set of years. For example, 1956 to 1959. And I'll go ahead and select newspapers as well. So here we have it for those years. And then I could come back and I could choose 1961 to 1964, for example. And if I want to change it from news to magazine for 1961 to 1964, I could do that as well. See how quick and easy this is? In almost all of the corpora, you can also limit the quick entries by source. You could also create a virtual corpus to limit by source, but doing this on the fly in the quick page is probably faster and easier. For example, suppose that you're searching for warp plus noun in the 325 million word TV corpus, as in warp drive, warp core, or warp speed, all common topics in the Star Trek series. We'll go ahead and click on warp drive to see the keyword and context entries. For example, we can limit just to episodes from Voyager to see just the quick entries from that series. Or we could click on source and then look for next generation to see just the entries from that series. Another quick example shows how we can limit by website. For example, in the 14 billion word iWeb corpus, we can search for nuclear power. On the quick page, we see that there are some entries from nrc.gov, which is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the United States. We can then enter nrc.gov in the website field to see just the entries from that website. Again, we could do this by creating a virtual corpus, and that might be a good option if we know that we'll be reusing the same set of texts on different occasions. But for fast on-the-fly limits, it's probably better just to do it in the quick page. In most of the corpora, you can limit by more than one feature. And this ends up being really useful when you want to do a search that combines several different pieces of information about a text. For example, let's search for President Obama in COCA. And then in the quick view, we'll click on limits and then we'll select spoken Fox News and the years 2012 and 2013. And as we've seen, in most corpora, 
You can also limit by source. For example, we'll add Hannity, a very conservative commentator on Fox News, to limit the quick entries to that program. And you can click here to erase the current limits and start again. A search like this would be hard to do without being able to limit the quick entries. In COCA, for example, it's awkward and sometimes not even possible to limit by a subdomain like Fox News in Spoken and a year like 2012 or 2013. And we definitely couldn't add in a specific source like Hannity. Again, we could create a virtual corpus for these texts and then search within that corpus. But that process does take 15 to 20 seconds to set up. And it's most useful when we know that we'll want to reuse that virtual corpus in the future. Let's look at one more example of how to use different information about the text to limit the quick entries. Suppose we want to search for fake news in the US in the now corpus from November 8, 2016, the date of the US presidential elections, through the end of the year, December 31st, 2016. By the way, the now corpus currently, as of September 2023, has about 18 billion words and grows by about 130 to 140 million words each month. At any rate, once we set up the search, we see that there are about 1,340 tokens. And here are the keyword in context or quick entries. Rather than entering all of that information on the front end in the main search page, we could just enter some of the limits, such as United States. And notice that in this case, because we haven't limited the dates, there's a lot more hits between 27 and 28,000. And then in the back end, on the quick page, we could limit the results to, from November 8, 2016 to December 31st, 2016. And we'd get almost exactly the same number of tokens. But this approach of limiting the entries on the quick page has the advantage of being able to limit the source, such as to NPR. Notice that all of the results now are from National Public Radio. And then we could easily change it to another source such as the Washington Post, and all of the entries will be from that source. Note that the examples that we've given here are from the COCA and NOW corpora, but you can do similar searches in all of the corpora from EnglishCorpora.org. In addition to limiting the quick entries, you can also sort the quick entries. By default, the quick lines are sorted in an order that might not make much sense to you. For example, let's search for war in Ukraine in the now corpus. There are about 95,000 tokens through today, September 13th, 2023. When we see the quick entries, it doesn't seem clear if they're sorted by date or country or what. But we can click on sorting 
and I suggest always clicking on the edit button to start fresh unless you're modifying a sort that you've already defined. First, and this has nothing to do with the sorting, we'll limit the quick results to entries from February 2022 and later to ignore the results from the Russian invasion in 2014. Now in the sorting column, we'll say that we want to sort the quick entries first by date and then by country. We do this by first clicking on the dashes in the date field and then in the country field. And then we'll click on the up arrow to show that we want the dates in ascending order with the oldest entries first and the newest entries at the end. And so here are our results. Notice that we have February 1st, then February 2nd, February 3rd, and all of this is before the war actually started a few weeks later. Or I could go back and click on the down arrow to see the most recent entries first, which are from yesterday. And this is no surprise since the now corpus is updated with millions of words of data each day. We could then change the sorting so that we have it sorted first by country and then by date. This way, for example, all of the entries for Australia whose code AU occurs before BD, for example, for Bangladesh, or CA, for example, for Canada. And then the entries are sorted by the secondary feature that I've selected, which is date. So notice that we have February 24th, then February 25th, then February 26th, 2022. And of course, if I want to see just the entries from Australia, I could limit that here. And just a reminder, if the sorting or the limits aren't working as expected, just click on the edit buttons to reset things. So this is a quick introduction to limiting and sorting from right within the quick page itself. The advantage of doing it this way is that you don't have to set up everything just right in the main search page. You can limit things on the fly, as it were, in the quick page. And as we've seen for complicated searches involving multiple pieces of information about the text, date, country, genre, and especially source, your only other option would be to create a virtual corpus. It's much, much faster to create virtual corpora in the corpora from EnglishCorpora.org than at other sites like Sketch Engine. But again, for on-the-fly limiting, it's even quicker from within the quick page itself. And finally, you can sort the quick entries in powerful ways with up to three levels of sorting, such as date and then country and then source. These are just a few of the features that we believe help to make the corpora from EnglishCorpora.org the most powerful corpora anywhere for research, teaching, and learning.